Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I had to come to the city because I had to take my daughter's phone to the Apple store and I have to drive like an hour to get here and I've been wanting to do the uh, baristas pick my drink at Starbucks so I was like I have to wait an hour before they call me to fix her phone so I was like why not do it while I'm here because the town we live in only has one Starbucks so I can't do it there obviously so I was like you know what I'm gonna do it today because I have like an hour to kill so I'm gonna take you guys along with me I'm super nervous to do this but it looks like it's fun and I might be able to find like a new drink that I like so I'm gonna take you guys with me so let's go so we're gonna go to this first one first the one that was closest to the mall where the Apple store was at so this is the closest one so this is the one we're gonna go to first it looks really nice it looks new and the drive-through line is ridiculously long I'm scared. What if they get mad at me? Because they're so busy. They're going to be like, I don't have time for this. I'm scared. I'm so nervous. This is going to be so awkward. I'm so nervous. I'm the next car. This is so weird. I don't know why I'm doing this. I really want some coffee too, so like what if it sucks? Oh shit, I'm scared. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hi, um, I want to try something new, so whatever you guys like recommend, just in a size tall. Good, um, holiday right now. Just whatever, just it doesn't really matter. Just make anything, just in a size tall. It can be hot or cold. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, my favorite is chestnut praline. You want to try that? Sure, I'll try that. Okay, tall chestnut praline. Yeah. Anything else? That's it. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> So I just told her like like her her favorite one I guess so she said the chestnut praline I don't know if I'm gonna like that cuz I mean I'm not a big fan of chestnuts which I really don't know how it tastes in coffee so this is gonna be interesting haven't you guys ever had a chestnut praline coffee I've never even heard of that one, which I've never looked for it on the menu. Normally I just get like a cold brew because I like really dark coffee. I don't really like really, really sweet coffees, so I feel like this is going to be really sweet, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but it's fun to try new stuff, so we'll see. At least she was nice, you know, and didn't get frustrated with me because the line is really, really long, so it's probably like... They're probably on their little headsets talking about me, like, this crazy person come through, told me to give them whatever. I don't got time for this. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Super nervous right now. This is weird. I don't like it. Okay, how are we going? Okay. Good. Okay, Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Thanks so much. Thanks. Alright, I'm going to come over here and park so I can taste it. I'll let you guys know if it's good or not. So, they were super nice. So, this was the lady that took my orders. This is her favorite one. So, this is a chestnut praline latte. So... That's different. It kind of tastes like not really like a gingerbready, but oh look, it has like little. I don't know what those are. Look, what are those? 
Oh, they're little pieces of, um, mm, like little pieces of cinnamon crunch almost. That's what I was tasting. So this kind of tastes like kind of cinnamon spicy with gingerbread, I guess, if I had to think of two flavors that this tastes like. So this is really good. So chestnut praline latte. This is good. I'll get this again. It's not too sweet either. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. You guys should try this one. If you don't like it too strong or too sweet, it's kind of just right. And it's kind of like a holiday flavor. I wonder if this is, I don't know if this is one of the actual holiday flavors or what, but this is good. Okay, it's kind of hot. All right. These construction guys are looking at me because I'm talking to myself and I'm in my car. So, I am going to plug in my GPS and see if I can find where the next Starbucks is. Okay, guys. So, I'm pulling up to the next Starbucks. It was literally like, like four miles away from the other one. There is no one in line. Oh, my God. I'm scared. This one's in a different little area, but I'm nervous. Do they have gingerbread love? I really want gingerbread love. Um, yes, can I just have what, just any kind of drink in a size tall? It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, you want coffee in there? Sure. Uh, you want to try our toasted white mocha? Sure, why not? <laughs> okay. 483. Thank you. They keep like telling me what they're giving me. It's not a surprise. I mean, it kind of is a surprise because I don't know what I'm going to get every time I go somewhere. So this is drink number two. Let's see if it is better than the first one. Great. Here we go. Hi there. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Cool. Thank you so much. You too. Okay. I gotta get somewhere where I can taste this. Okay. So this guy picked. What is this? A twisted white chocolate mocha so I don't really know what does that mean I'm part of white chocolate mochas but what is the twisted what does twisted white chocolate mocha mean oh it's pretty look it's got little pieces of peppermint I guess on top I've never had one of these before so let's try this definitely sweeter is this supposed to have like peppermint in it because I don't I don't taste peppermint I taste definitely I definitely taste white chocolate I'm not a big fan of white chocolate I mean it's okay but I just I don't yeah I don't really care for that I mean it's not bad I probably would never order it again, but I just taste like white chocolate. Like it doesn't taste like white chocolate and like a regular mocha. It just tastes like straight white chocolate. It's super hot. So it's not bad. I probably wouldn't order that one again. So I think I like, out of those two, I think I, I like the first one better, the chestnut praline latte. So. I'm going to keep drinking this one and I'm going to find the next closest Starbucks. 
Okay guys, so I have just pulled into my third Starbucks. Hello, thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get for you today? Hi, um, can I just have a tall, anything that's cold, an ice, it doesn't matter what it is. Okay, would you rather it be like a tea or a coffee? Um, preferably a coffee. A coffee, absolutely. And just the tall, it don't matter what it is. Okay, did you want it like a frappuccino or did you want like an actual like ice cream? Uh, an ice drink. Okay, uh, how about a vanilla cold brew? That'll work. Alrighty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I know I'm gonna like this this one because it's cold brew and I love cold brew coffee, so I think this one's gonna be good, so we will see. This drive thru is like literally this big. I'm trying not to run over the curb here. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try this one. It is a vanilla cream cold brew. Let's see what it tastes like. Definitely, definitely need some sugar. Maybe I didn't shake it up good enough. Normally when I get cold brew, cold brew, I put a lot of sugar in it because it's it's like a slow steeped coffee, so it's really strong, but I need some Splenda for real. I mean, it's good. It's very, if you like the real strong coffee, cold brew is definitely for you. Vanilla cream, I mean, I kind of taste the vanilla, but it definitely needs some sugar because it's really strong. Whoa! about to kick it up a notch with that one okay guys so out of the three drinks that I got the best one by far was the first one the um, chestnut praline latte this one was really good I would definitely order this one again um, and then the second one was the twisted white chocolate mocha I didn't really care for that one because I'm not a big fan of white chocolate so I won't be ordering that one again and then the last one was uh, vanilla cream cold brew and I really like cold brew but I would drink it with a little bit more cream and definitely some more sugar because it's very bitter, but the winner is definitely the, um, the chestnut praline latte, so you guys should definitely give this one a try.